What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. This particular video is uh, just a kind of a video just to let you guys know about the current event that's going on right now on One Piece Treasure Cruise. I have been getting so many messages, like absurd amounts of messages over the past 24 hours about this current co-op mission event. And yes, we all know how difficult the event it is. It is definitely not an easy event for free to play players and I can completely understand that. And that's not what this particular video is about. This video is about completing the event to help the community reach our goal so we can actually get more rewards from this event. You guys might be wondering what I'm talking about. I've already discussed this in a previous video when I actually went through this actual campaign event and what's going on with the co-op mission. I've already talked about it, but I want to reiterate to you guys because a lot of people seem to not understand how important that we actually complete this mission is. So let's go ahead and click the details, check out the website, and you guys will be wondering why, like I'm going to be telling you guys why you should worry about this event. So we are on the current website right now, which gives us the information about the current Big Mom event. Now, the co-op mission, obviously we've got all these missions here. We've actually reached the, the actual goal for mission one and mission two. Our last mission is to reach 1.2 million runs total between all players in the game on the uh, co-op mission that is available currently right now on Extra Island. Now, you can see here... We have until February 22nd until we have to reach this goal to unlock this last part of the uh, of part of part of the campaign event. We are currently so far behind our scheduled score that we need to start going ahead and farming up this event. Otherwise, we will not be able to unlock this last mission here. Some people might be wondering, what is this mission? This mission is fantastic. When we unlock it, we get 10 rainbow gems when we complete it, as well as getting three Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit pools uh, after we complete that particular new event that comes out. So of course, you need to go ahead and start playing this event so we can start actually playing through this other event to get Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit characters. So we need to go ahead and start running this event. Now I know it is extremely difficult and not a lot of players are going to be able to beat the 40 stamina version of this mission. In this video though, I want to show you guys the team that I've been using to farm up the 20 stamina version of this dungeon. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but you can farm the 20, the 30, or the 40 stamina version of this dungeon to actually add to the total score of the dungeon. Um, also, you can also run the one stamina version of the dungeon as well. And even though uh, not a lot of people are going to be able to beat it, that also does count towards your run for the final score of the campaign. So let's go ahead and go through the 20 stamina version of this dungeon. Now, if you are wanting to farm this dungeon and you want to add more and more score to the uh, player base total the best way to go ahead and do it is to run it on single stamina it might be cool to run it on double stamina but for uh, allowing us to reach our score much easier you will use less stamina if you do just single runs rather than double stamina because double stamina runs do not count towards our total for two uh you know if you do a double stamina run it still counts as one run it's just that you get double the amount of drops so i would suggest running it on a single stamina run uh, personally i like to run it on double stamina anyways because i like seeing more exp and stuff but this is the team that we have here a pretty easily accessible team running the neptune captains and we have a whole bunch of free to play subs the character that is replaceable though you can replace law with literally anything else but i would suggest running something that does a lot of single target damage as it enables you to clear this a lot faster but you guys will be seeing in this video how fast we are able to clear this video just for the sake of things i'm personally going to be doing double stamina but i do not suggest you guys to be doing double stamina as you'll be able to run the event much easier without wasting all of your stamina because as we said before double stamina it does not count two points towards our total score so let's go ahead and showcase how this double neptune team works for farming 20 stamina version of this dungeon so so easily as well as getting your hands on a lot of exp from farming this so let's go ahead and start things off first of all we have mihawk here uh, we're going to go ahead and use the law special now. Now, obviously, if you don't have Trafalgar law, you can go ahead and use just anyone else, or you don't even need to bring a unit that does damage. You can just do regular tap damage because these bosses on 20 stamina are relatively weak and you can beat them very, very easily. So you don't even need to really worry about replacing law all that much. But if you have him, it's great because he does lots of single target damage and makes it much easier. On stage two, we have Arlong. We don't really need to do too much. We can just go ahead and tap with our law. And because he has barrier penetration, he just goes ahead and kills Arlong very quickly. If if you don't have lore, once again, it doesn't matter too much. You can just do regular taps. He doesn't have much HP and you can kill him very quickly. Next, we have Crocodile. We're going to go ahead and use the newly maxed out treasure map NL, who is absolutely fantastic. I love this character so, so much. 
he does fixed damage against Crocodile, which will bypass his blue defensive shield. Next, we have the boss NL. So again, we're going to be using our Trafalgar Law special because he does single target mass damage. You don't need to bring Law. As we said, you can do tapping. You can stall one turn, wait for the paralysis to leave, and then kill him. Next, we have the boss Luchi, and he is surrounded by Kaku and Jabra. And this is where our Whitebeard and Mihawk are going to be quite key. You can use either Whitebeard or Mihawk on this stage. It doesn't matter too much because these guys are very good because they do lots of AoE damage, which is going to enable you to clear it much faster. So next we have the Blackbeard boss. So Blackbeard, he can be quite tricky on the higher staminas of course, but for 20 stamina, we're going to use our Whitebeard special to do lots of AoE damage and kill him very quickly. And then you see the actual crewmate effect of Treasure Map NL will continue to cycle and he actually has his special maxed up once again. And now we can see at the Doflamingo stage, we can use him once again, our treasure map NL, to completely wipe the floor with this stage. You can also run a character like a double uh, double buggy if you really wanted to for this particular dungeon. I just think Neptune's great because I like uh, more EXP to level up, of course. But that's just to show you guys how you can farm this 20 stamina event very, very quickly and also just help out the community. And also, you'll see the drops here. We get some pretty decent drops, of course. You can get universal skill books. You can get socket tomes. So let's see what we got from our run here. We Got a, we've got a defense book. We got double stem defense book, which is great. You get cotton candies. The tea time homies are great, and they do stack with each other as well. So you can continuously run this, stack up a whole bunch of homies, and then when the anniversary Sugo Fest comes out, you have a whole bunch of homies to level up your new characters. So this is a great event to do right before the anniversary, and obviously 20 stamina runs. It's very very cheap to run. I would suggest doing it just so we can reach our target score of 1.2 million points, so we can unlock the next event, which is the big. Big Mom event where we can get up to three Sugo Fest exclusive rare recruit poles. So make sure to go ahead and farm it, guys. But that's all I really wanted to show you guys in this video. I got so many messages about this, so I needed to go ahead and tell you guys about it. Otherwise, if we don't reach it, you know, it's not going to be that great if we miss out on three Sugo Fest exclusive characters. Uh, either way, I feel like even if we don't make it, Bandai might go ahead and pull a shifty one and maybe allow us to unlock it anyways, or they'll do something where, you know, for a certain period of time, we get double points per run. That could also be a thing as well. But that's going to conclude this video, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.